Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be part four of the Hammerhead Rebuild. Stay tuned. So as you've seen, I've not been on in a couple days. It's been uh, average of about 100, 112 to 115 every day. It's a high of 115 today, so I don't have a whole lot of time to work on it before I uh, have to get in the pool before I faint. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and keep working on this thing. Uh, I was working on the little quad here after I got my parts in. I pushed it outside. The uh, gas tank was leaking at the uh, on-off valve. And so I pushed it out here because it was stinking up the garage. One day in that sun caused this. I had a little bitty crack. Uh, I can't fix this one. <laughs> that thing is shot. That's what Arizona heat does to plastic. So, All right, I guess I'll order me a uh, new gas tank, which I probably should have done in the first place. But this thing is really close to running. I was able to redo the wiring using the new parts that I had. And uh, I'm able to get this thing to at least start uh, with the starter will will spin over. It doesn't have spark yet. Uh, strong enough where I like it. It's a real weak spark, so I'm going to check a few things. But looks like number one is going to be a gas tank for this one. Okay, I'm going to jump back on the hammerhead and catch up with you in a bit. So I'm working on the little dash we have here today. And if you see right here, I took out the old ignition. And I have my new ignition right here. But if I pop it down through here, it is too big. Won't fit in there. Now, once I get it drilled out a little bit, see these little tabs? I have to make sure I leave enough where they go in and then pop back out and hold this ignition in place. So what I'm going to do is use this unibit and drill it down until I can't see this little white ring anymore. And then we'll go ahead and try and refit it. Okay, I got that drilled out. I got this new ignition installed. We're ready to move on and check all the light switches. And I'll probably just pull this out. Not many people use a cigarette lighter anymore, so I'll use it as a just a 12 volt outlet still working away on this thing as I said I don't get much time to play with it but I went ahead and did a bed liner inside the bottom of this I just think with uh, feet shuffling around and all that stuff it will uh, it'll last a whole lot better than just regular paint wood and I think it would help cut down on some of the road noise uh, as you're driving along I went ahead and pulled the steering wheel and uh, Resanded a couple spots that were issues that are no longer an issue and uh, Yeah, we're moving along. I got the steering wheel painted So as you can see I just taped it off and just did a quick spray of black on there I'm not gonna touch it. It's still uh, wicked hot out here But uh, we're moving along so I went ahead and started painting the red uh, didn't get quite all done I ran out of two cans, but you can kind of start getting the uh, overall view what this bad boy is going to look out look like i'm going to have the black rear end back there new tires all the way around and get this cleaned up in here get all of that cleaned up and taped up so i can get her all pretty but hey everybody the paint job is finally done oh that was a whole heck of a lot of work but uh came out pretty nice i would say not absolutely perfect but close as this guy can get it so now we're going to start assembly I believe I'm gonna do that in part five I know this one was, was kind of a short video but I didn't want to bore you with me sanding and grinding and then grinding again and sanding uh, burn up a grinder already but um, yeah this is where we're at I will start the reconstruction here in the next video which is gonna be part five I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Please hit that subscribe button. Probably 
right about in uh, right there. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for everything.